Joy says that she hasn't spoken to her friend of 20 years in 14 months. Jermaine missed her birthday party, so she chose not to attend his. But everyone, please help me welcome George to the show. Come on, come on, come on, dress and heel. Oh, I see you. Um, come on, dress and heel. Let's just get into this. So you missed your best friend's birthday party. I did. What happened? Initially, he missed my he birthday missed your party. party. Okay, yeah. So your best friend yes. missed your birthday party. Yes, he did. Okay. Now, now Jermaine and I have known each other for a long time. He is literally like a brother to me. Twenty and years of friendship. High school. Coach. Yes. High school. Wow. So you haven't spoken to him in fourteen months, though. This is true. We have not spoken, and it's that not speaking to him or not being a part of his life or my life or seeing his accomplishments in 14 months, it's taken a toll on me. And I just felt so betrayed because we went through some really hard times together. Mm -hmm. So the, the betrayal is real for me because, excuse me. I see you shaking. This is hard. It is. I don't have my friend anymore and that's why I'm here. I need him back. It's, it's, it sounds to me even beyond that, and also seeing your body language right there, it's you lost family. I did, I this did. This is family for you. He is, he's definitely family for us. I mean, we, we grew up together. I'm like an aunt to his daughter. Yeah. Um, when his grandmother passed away, I was there. Take me back, you met when you were 18 in high school, mm -hmm. and so your kids. Mm -hmm. So from 18 to now, describe your relationship. So after high school, you know, people grow, they go. I happen to run into Jermaine <laughs> at a fashion show. So I, over time, we just developed this really strong bond. My producer told me y'all two got matching BBLs together. Okay, yes, we did. We got <laughs> <laughs> So listen, Jermaine is that friend that he is down to do whatever. We love body beautification. This y'all on the plane to go to get y'all BBLs? That's us on the plane on the way to get our matching BBL. <laughs> we experienced that together, and that really, to me, created an even stronger bond. But you did tell my producers that you did notice that there, Jermaine, at some point, wasn't being a good friend to you. I want you to explain that, because it sounds like everything's been good. Everything was good. Once we got back from the DR, I started to notice a shift. And I'm feeling like, okay, we've been connected, talking to one another, over each other's house every day, so why aren't you answering my, my texts or my calls? Yeah. Or when I invite you out, you never show up. There's been times when I'm like, you know, come meet me here, or let's do that, and oh, I'm on the way, or what's the address? He'll ask me the address a thousand times and he'll never show up. And I'm saying, but when you call me, I drop everything. So I just felt like it wasn't being reciprocated, and you know, as you can see, it just wasn't being reciprocated. Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. He's, I mean, so he's, are you the blue or? I'm the blue. Okay, so when they close, he said six, five, where you at? I'm sorry, LOL, where you at? I called you, what you doing? I'm here. If y'all not coming, just say so, I'm going to go home. It, so <laughs> it was basically a sort of you begging him in a sense in this, in this text message because Literally I haven't seen other. Literally begging, like it was really one-sided. It makes me feel like I'm looking like the crazy ex-girlfriend or something. Okay, so even though you felt betrayed in that moment, you still ended it on a friendly note. I did because in that moment after my party, I still was trying to make sure I kept the relationship going. So why didn't you go to his birthday event? Because he didn't come to mine. Literally, just that simple. I felt like Jermaine needed to get a taste of his own medicine. So that's when you got petty. That's when I got petty. I got it. Did you try talking about that with him? After the fact? Mm hmm After the fact, after his birthday, I saw Jermaine, um, and he, he laid me out, mm. flatlined me in the street. I tried to speak to him. I saw him downtown. He was with some of his friends that are my friends, and they just... They, they didn't even speak to me. Like, they wanted to make sure they were siding with Jermaine. Mm. And so I'm like, Jermaine, and he walks down the street. And so I'm like, okay, I got your ticket. I know you. And then what he turned around. What hurtful things did he say? Oh, you are fake. You're a clout chaser. And you and our mutual friend, you all want to hang out now. Everything that I felt like I was giving to him, he twisted it and threw it in my face and walked off and left me standing in the dust. So after all of this, you still want to have a friendship with him? I do. Okay. I am really big on people that I bring into my life. He's been around my daughter. I've been around his daughter. We function as a family. And this relationship is definitely salvageable. We've got too much fun to have. If we could talk, like, 
someone like you. I like to be that third party who can see both sides. Yes. I got you on that. So I think it's time to learn more about this birthday betrayal from Jermaine. Everyone, please welcome Jermaine to the show. Come on, Harness. I see you. Hello, hello. hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. So, Jermaine. Yes. This is our, just tell me, why didn't you attend Joy's birthday party? Because Joy didn't give me all of the correct information. Jermaine. I Joy. gave you all of the information. So just, just answer this question. How is it that everybody else showed up except for you? You told what, me what a few did you weeks, not know? You told me about a month or so prior to that you were gonna be having an event. You didn't know quite where yet. You never gave me the time or any of that information. Do you know how bad that made me feel? What? To have my friend. Joy, first of all, you did not tell me what time the event was. Your actual Jermaine, birthday event. Jermaine, every time event. you ask me to go places with you and you don't give me all the information, I still come. Not one time throughout the evening did you even send a text or make a call. So even if you knew Why it was- Why didn't you then, Jermaine? Because I actually did. I texted Joy and I called her, so she, it, it appeared as though some texts were shown, but probably not all of them. Okay, yeah. Because I definitely texted Joy got a text and I called. From you. And as I was texting and calling you, I noticed that you were actively posting I never got a text from you, day. and our mutual friend throughout the party kept making statements. Are well, you gonna, he's fake anyway, so I won't even mate? discuss See, there you him. go calling him fake, just like because he called he me is. fake. So why didn't he come to my party, which he met you through me? I have no control over you did have control because you're a puppet master. I, I'm a you're puppet master. Absolutely, because he, I'm is, a puppet master. he is easily controlled. Wow. Did you know that she was hurt over you missing her party? Absolutely not, because she never gave an inkling of a feeling that she was hurt over, because it was not purposefully that I missed your party. So, Jermaine, why are you upset with Joy? Fast forward, months later, when it was my birthday, Joy decided to not only not show up, mm -hmm. But she, she hit up friends of mine that I had introduced That's her to. That's not true. Very much so true. No, Let me hear this side. Okay, okay. You okay. had your you moment. Hit you hit, uh, you hit, you hit your moment. Okay. Thank you. Miss Joy decided to hit up friends once again that I had introduced her to and asked them to come to a different place, literally across the street from the place where my birthday party. And that's just how petty she is. Can I have the stage now? Absolutely. And I thank you. Own it. I will. What happened was, I did get petty. Mm -hmm. I've admitted that. And I did not go to his birthday party on purpose. <laughs> Later that evening, I, we did go down to the, to the place across the street from where he had his party. At the end of the day, I gave you a taste of your own medicine, and you don't like it. Do you feel like she gave you it a taste sour. of your own medicine? It was sour. But do you believe you did the same thing? I didn't, because it wasn't my intention to not be there for Joy. But in reverse, she intentionally decided to try to hurt me, so, and that, to me, says a little bit about her character. Got it, so, well, we're talking about character, and I gotta say something as well. What I've noticed as a third party that's out of this, and I'm still trying to figure out this whole situation between you, but one thing is that you do do name calling. And I've already in the matter of five minutes, I've had fake um, clout chaser, puppet master, delusional. So, why do you call her these names? Because in certain moments, that's what she gives, like, not real. In certain moments, you give um, you do give fake, but you also give abandonment, choosing when you want to be in someone's life and oh. choosing when you don't. I'm not choosing when or when not to be in someone's life. If someone is not healthy for me, then I'm going to remove myself. So are you saying that I'm that not situation. healthy for you? In certain moments, you weren't, but and you. And in certain moments, you weren't on. healthy for me too. I'm here to really, really, truly find out. We go from living it up to all of a sudden, I can't reach you. Was there something that I did? No, because we continue to be friends and hang out, so it clearly wasn't anything you had so done at that, that point. So she says that there was nothing, it, if you're saying there was nothing that was happened, then why do you say that she's a clout chaser? Because I just feel like a lot of her stories don't make sense, and I think that she, she does things for clout. Like I said Absolutely before, not. I looked at you like a family member. Same it's way I looked never at you. A, it's never with competition. I take friendships very... It's not a competition? Ser it's not a okay, competition. Okay, well stand up, let me see. Turn to the side. Oh, okay. I mean... <laughs> so y'all competing the BBLs? Y'all both look no great. But it's no competition. Y'all both look great, great. Both look great with your well, BBLs, you. baby. The BBLs amazing. are cute. Amazing. But the thing is, is that beside, outside of this, I think that there is something that's deeper that's going on. It She's is. asked you, what is going on that's deeper? We, we had amazing times together. You know, she, 
she was a sister. I, you know, I'm an only child. So she was that person that I could actually talk to. She would listen. As she said, when my grandmother passed away, she was there. Jermaine, your daughters had a relationship, right? Right. I was lovely. She would go over there on the weekends. They would play together. Um, they would go play. So this is even deeper than you two. Yeah, this it, is like, the connection. this is another generation here, right? I, absolutely. Well, I have a ping absolutely. right here. I'm getting a ping, y'all. This is a message from Joy's daughter. Hi, Janaya. It's been so long since we last saw each other. I miss you so much. I bet you're so grown up now. I promise you that when I get back for break from college, we'll have a girls' night, just us. It'll be so much fun and I can't wait. See you soon. Aww. Aww. That just really touches me because we hung out together and my daughter all the time is like, where's Jermaine? So when we connected with your daughter, it was like, this is my family. I can't wait to see her when I'm out of school. There was nothing but, I, she couldn't even get into this drama. What do you think when you hear that? It's hurtful. To have lost the connection, be it temporary or whatever it may be, um, it's very hurtful. I, I miss Joy. I and do. I miss you too. I do not think that this, this, this relationship is so damaged that y'all can't get back together. I believe that what needs to happen is y'all need to first of all take a step back and start to communicate with each other better. I think sometimes when you have that friendship where y'all are both big personalities, where both of y'all have a lot to say, sometimes when you have that person reflecting the same thing back at you, it hurts. Now something I try to teach on this show often is intention versus impact. And I hear that over and over and over again in this conversation right. is, it wasn't my intention, but the thing is that your friend is telling you that it impacted them in a negative way. Even with the name calling, your intention is, well, we've always talked like this, but your friend then is telling you in this moment, it's impacting me. And I think this is a lesson that you all need to learn immediately for each other if and when you start to move forward. What impacted me the most was that I started to feel like our friendship was on the rocks after my birthday because I was so used to us being so close. Can you apologize for the way that it impacted her? I am sorry, it wasn't my intent to hurt you or to not show up for you. My life is, is very stressful, you know, there's no mother figure in my child's life, right. you know, losing my grandmother. So it was a lot of things that I was dealing with and unfortunately I didn't have room to always be available for everybody that was trying to pull at me. And for that I'm sorry that I wasn't there or I, I accept your apology. I really do. I really, really now, do. But vice versa, what was her intentions that she's saying that what is, wasn't her intention, but how did she impact you? Well, she said it was her intention to get back at me and to hurt me, to give me a dose of my own medicine. So, so our intents. So can you apologize for that? Most definitely. I am sorry. Yes, I did intentionally hurt you. And I am truly sorry for not being there for you. And instead of giving you a taste of your own medicine, I should have just talked to you about it. We are better than this. I hope you can forgive me too. I can. You I do can. forgive her? I do, I really do. Oh. Can y'all give each other a proper hug with these oh, BBLs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Okay. <laughs> grab my butt, grab my butt, grab my butt. Not grabbing the BBLs. <laughs> Listen, I'm, <laughs> y'all are full of love and light, and I'm happy for y'all. Just, just y'all just to learn how to communicate, and just think about use the words that you use today. The language, the way you communicate, the way you communicate it is what's going to keep y'all healthy. But y'all gonna be all right. I'm glad, glad to meet both of y'all. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more, so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.